So in this session, uh, we'll be onboarding the data from universal forwarder to our indexer. So in short, uh, in, in my last two sessions, in the we did configure our deployment server and we did configure uh, my indexer. And in the last session, uh, we just you know uh, installed universal forwarder on this particular machine. Now we will have to onboard the data. We'll have to ingest the data from this universal forwarder to indexer and later we'll try to connect the deployment server with the uh, forwarders. So I, I want to show uh, both the flavors here. So without deployment server, how it works and with the deployment server, how it works, right? So uh, just for practice purpose, so let me try to create a couple of uh, log files here and let me try to onboard the data into my Splunk index. Right. So having said that, uh, we'll just uh, log into my universal forwarder. So yeah, this is my universal forwarder. All right. So let me back CD. See, okay. Uh, if you want to uh, have some of the log files, we can create them. So by default, we'll have a couple of log files under where log. See, th uh, these are the log files. You can always go ahead and ingest. But for practice purpose, what I will do, let me try to create my own data so that uh, we, we will have the visibility of the data. All right. So, all right. So, what I'll do, I'll just create one file called uh, bi test.log. Okay. So, I'm just creating the log file and I'm just uh, pressing I to insert. So log ingestion via universal forward. So accept. Okay. So this is the log which I'm trying to ingest. So log file is ready. Okay. So please understand. Uh, I've just this is my please consider this is my application server. It can be Tomcat or any other uh, server and where I have installed my Splunk universal forwarder and later I have created my log file and my intention is to read this log file. From this application server and this should we should send this log to my indexer. So this is my ultimate goal here. Now we have the uh, log data ready. Then we will have to make make sure to write our inputs and outputs configurations. Correct. So I have captured them, you know, in in, in some documentations. So typically our uh, inputs and outputs dot configuration will looks like this. So when I say uh, these outputs dot configurations, so typically. This outputs dot configuration uh, tells that for which server it should forward the data. Please understand for which server to forward the data. And typically, uh, universal forwarder inputs dot configuration file talks about what data you want to read and which index you want to. Right. So uh, either we can execute some commands or even we can also. Uh, write these configurations directly on your forwarders just to make it uh, simplicity just to showcase we have some commands I'll, I'll show them as well right so and before that uh, let me try to create one index on my indexer so this is my index indexer so let me get into settings click on index how to create an index it is very simple just uh, click on the new new index by default. Splunk will be creating 12 indexes and let me just create a test index and click on the events and click on save. So now we have a new index called test has been created. Right now, what is the next step? We need to monitor the stanza. So See, uh, we'll see as of now. We don't see. Can we see? OK, let me get into OPT Splunk forwarder EDC system local. So this is the default location where all my configuration gets stored. As of now, uh, 
I don't have any inputs dot configurations and outputs dot configurations. So typically we'll have to create here, but here it is also not the recommended way because uh, we'll be we, we need to create a apps with the help of the development server. We'll see that, right? Uh, so just just to make sure that just to show the different flavors, we can also onboard the data by putting the configurations under this location. OK, as of now, under this location, I don't have any. Uh, configuration file, so which I'm planning to do it now, right? So then let me just, you know. Uh, execute the command opt splunk powder bin splunk, right? And add monitor, right? And what is a what is a, a path of this one? I need to say where log and test dot log. Please understand this log file log test dot log file we had created in this machine only. So which is there in this particular location? Under if you go to where log and uh, under this location we have created a Test dot log file. Do you want to see that? Uh, then let me just quickly go back and show show to you. CD oh wait, sorry, CD where log. If you can see, see this is the file I wanted to read, right? Where I want to forward the data from this uh, log file to Splunk indexer, right? So now what should I do? Uh, Again, Splunk OPT forward your okay. Splunk add monitor, and I need to give the test, right? So this is a test file. So, which means I'm telling Splunk, hey, I want to read this particular log file. Just monitor this one, right? And click on enter. And we need to give the username and password just to authenticate. See added monitor where log test dot log, right? So where can we see these configurations again? CD, OPT, Splunk forwarder, ETC, system, local. Oh, sorry. Where did we create that? We had created under search, right? We'll see. I'll show where exactly. Sorry, my bad. It has to be under search. CD. Right. And if I just see at insert configuration file, you see this is the monitoring stanza which got created, but. Uh, by default, if I don't specify any of the index details here, then it will be going to my main index. We will see that, right? So it is good that we have not created anything. We'll see how it works. I mean, uh, we had created an index, but we have not routed that request to. We are not. We are. We are not routing this uh, request to get into test index. So as we we have not uh, defined any of the index here, so by default it considers main index to ingest the data. Do you see my point? So we have created a uh, test. I mean test dot log file under var log and I want to monitor that and where exactly that is getting stored here. So this is coming under under ETC apps by default search. It, it, it comes to search apps, but we will see how to you know, differentiate this configuration from search app to uh, a newly created apps. But now what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to monitor this particular log file to your Splunk indexer. Clear? Now we have the inputs.configuration file and we don't have outputs.configuration file. Correct? In order to uh, configure my outputs.configuration file, either we can directly go ahead and create outputs.configuration file and I can put the stanzas something like this right but i'll show how exactly it gets generated with the help of the command prompt right so again what i'm doing here i'll just execute the same command opt splunk 
in right opt splunk bin and what is the command here we have yeah splunk add forward server so where are we forwarding this one i need to give the indexer ip and port number right and what is the indexing port it's triple nine seven so in this case this is my ip address of my indexer so let me type in 252.23.239.78 and colon triple nine seven which means whatever the data which we can see under inputs.configuration file you read that and once you read them just forward this data to this particular indexer over the port triple n7 why we, why we are giving triple n7 because here we did on the uh, receiving port we had configured as a triple n7 and this can be customized but as a, a splunk standard i'm just keeping a triple n7 uh, port okay and once it is done hit on okay now what it is saying added forwarding uh, to this particular ip address now if we can just do ls where exactly it is showing let us see it is ktc system see this is a beauty because uh, irrespective of the irrespective of the apps details we are forwarding to a particular dedicated indexer so that is the reason it got you know it gets created under this particular location because this is the see, under system local this this will be executed right so this will be the common for the remaining apps and for uh, any of the inputs so hence this particular uh, file gets created in their system local see tcp out and default auto load balancer group and here this is the this is the stanza which gets created in outputs dot configuration file for example if we have a multiple number of indexes for example we if if, if we need to maintain three indexers then it is very simple will have to edit this file with the comma separated value so if my new if i have another indexer called 1.2.3.4 then what i will what i will do after this after this triple n7 i'll just mention comma then 1.2.3.4 colon triple n7 so this can be added up but in real in real cases uh, if we are using if we will be using clustered environment then we must use our cluster manager ip addresses are you will see them in our upcoming sessions so what we have done here uh we just created one i mean directly we just uh, we wanted to read some of the data from the universal forwarder for that what have what i have done under var log i have created a for, uh, log called test dot log and again afterwards uh in the in, in the inputs dot configuration which is in the search app have given the monitoring stanza so that is it, it will monitor the data and in the outputs dot configuration file outputs dot configuration file where i have given where to forward the data right so th this information i have given and respective uh, inputs dot configuration and output outputs dot configurations we can see here and now if you just go to our uh, indexer and by default it, it, it will be acting as a, a search head so i can straight away go ahead and see this one as of now i don't have a dedicated uh, uh, search head let's see if the data is in see bingo so here we see our data so which means from the unit see please understand this is a splunk indexer this is another computer 
and this is my another computer, right? And I am just reading the data which is in the which is in this location, right? Under var log. See, and uh, if I just say test log, right? Sorry. See, this is the data which which I have written here, and this particular data from this universal forwarder, which is there in the Splunk indexer. Again, Splunk indexer is a another computer, right? And this is my universal forwarder. And see here, you can see this is the host, which means from where it is reading the log, and what is the source? Means from what is the path which it is reading, and source type, and we can customize or the source step we will be discussing that in our upcoming sessions. So here what we have done, we just created one of the uh, data under uh, var log folder and with normal configurations, we just created inputs.configurations and outputs.configuration and we did forward the data to our Splunk indexer that we can see here. And in the next session, uh, with the help of the deployment server, uh, we will try to uh, ingest the data. Right? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.